What is up, YouTube? This is the Elite Ace. We are back with my game collection. Right now, currently, we are still on the 360. Um, we last left off with Assassin's Creed. Let's get on to the next installment of my collection, The Darkness Part 1. A very unique um, first-person shooter from my, in my book at the time. Yes, I do own some Darkness comics that you've seen in my last video. Well, one of my videos. Well, it was like a crossover Darkness and Predator. And Witchblade and Aliens. This was a, it was a op this was like an open world sandbox stylish of a first person shooter. Like I said, the reason why it was unique to me because you had the darkness abilities. Darkness was your friend and light wasn't. Anything light, you could only use your guns and it'd feel like just a regular plain old first person shooter. Well, it was a good game. It wasn't the best first person shooter. Real good. I enjoyed it. Hell, it was a gift, so you can't argue with that. And on to, as you've seen this already, unboxing my Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I'm not even gonna. No. And of course, I have like, everyone. Modern Warfare 3. Played this almost every day. We, you know, we all know about that. I don't even, even need to go, go in uh, with that. And next we have. The Darkness Part 2. Limited edition, so it says. Ain't no GameStop kills me. Or these companies kill me. They do they have some kind of collaboration with these uh game companies and say pre-order to get the limited edition. You know, good and damn well. This is not a limited edition. Yes, it comes with, you know, a poster and whatnot and extra content, but hey. Yes, I did beat this. To get all the achievements on here is not hard. It's just time consuming. I, I could easily do it. I mean, I already beat it on the highest difficulty. I just go through the extra side chapter. But this opposed to part one. Yes, it's not sandbox style, but it's a whole lot better. People say it was short. It was short. It was short. Beat it one day. Beat it one day. But that other mode, when you play as the other characters, when you play as his, uh, his minions, you know, his cronies, his followers, and they have their own connection to the darkness, you know, one girl with the uh, darkness sawed off shotgun, the other um, Chinese guy with the katana, um, I think the African guy with the staff, whatever he does, like, like he's holding the staff, he lifts, like, he raises his hand, the enemy lifts up, he twists that left to right, and the body of the enemy goes, you know, it's pretty cool, so, they, they, they made up for that. Let's see, what do we have here? This was also a gift for me, uh, wet. It was it was pretty cool. It was it was enjoyable. It wasn't the best action uh, game I played, but it was it was pretty enjoyable. The ending could have been better. It could have been very better. I I already know when they make a sequel to this, you know they are gonna improve on so many issues with this title. Like I said, enjoyable wasn't the best, but it was enjoyable. Burnout Paradise. The reason why I'm still holding on to this is because, to me, in my book, Split Second is the only racing game. Well, the only, you know, that's not what I'm, uh, you know, like, you know, see, Gran Turismo and Ridge Racer, I'm cool. You know, they, it's good eye candy and whatnot, but it's it's just, just straight up realism. I mean, sometimes you don't want complete realism. So, you know, Burnout, we all know Burnout has always added a spin. A little twist on a racing genre and this is an open world kind of feel and split second to me is the only one that only thing that can give burnout competition as far as creativity and uniqueness in a racing game so um but split second at the time i i had a brand new no updates or patches without for it and it was too many invisible walls too many and on there if you were in first second or third and you crash or anything it was damn near impossible to get back up to first or second or to a position where they'll qualify you to the next race but anyway burnout a very challenging very challenging uh racing game because you have to know this map you really do you really do have to know this world map but anytime i want to get in some uh, crotch rockets or motorcycles or some uh high high spin high Speed racing, pop in the burnout. Okay, another gift. Alpha Protocol. 
This one my brother got me. You know, it has so much potential. It was, it, this was very unique, like a, a CIA Mass Effect kind of game. I mean, it wasn't completely that bad. It was very, you have to pay attention with this game. It, it was, it was okay. It wasn't game of the year. It wasn't game of the month. It wasn't complete garbage, but it was okay. I mean, look at espionage RPG. Right there, that just screams potential. But unfortunately, you know, Sega said there would never be a sequel because they the sales didn't reach the goal. So, I mean, it's unfortunate. But hey, on to let's see. I believe this was a early release, or actually, I think this was a launch title. Condemned Criminal Origins. Man, I'm telling you, the first time I played this demo, I fell in love with it. I mean, years ago. I, I It just felt like there was no other game like it. And the sound on here, beautiful. The reason why I love Condemned is the fact that with this first person shooter, as you couldn't even call it a shooter, it was so real where it made sense. It was mostly melee based because with you being a... Um, an FBI agent, I mean, you play as Ethan Thomas, say if you have a, a 45 on you, you know, you're in a crime scene, you're chasing after a guy, you're not just going to happen to come across some ammo laying there or, or some 45 bullets that just, that just happen to be made for your gun. No, in real life, it don't work like that. And when you get out of, when you run out of bullets, you flip the gun around, you can butt them with the gun, but you don't really want to do that because that's not really strong. So you want to get a pipe, an axe. They all have uh, different weights, different swinging speeds. It was, I loved it. And um, you had your uh, taser. It was very unique and good. And it was, oh, and it's a horror, like first person shooter also. Oh, and the enemies. Uh, nothing too fictional. You start off fighting muggers, robbers, then people, you know, rapists, then cannibalists, then uh, Satan worshipers. You know, it just gets more and more, more crazy. Then you have part two of condemned bloodshot the reason why i like this everything he went through on a part on part uh one yes that's him he looks completely different ethan thomas he just snapped all of that psycho stuff i mean it this game he he, he gets uh turns into an alcoholic and he taps into his pretty much his inner hollow but he's still good he's a little bit mental but he's still good this game, see, I like to get the full experiences out of my title. So, games like this, I play with the lights off, cranked up the sound, set up a little bit close to the screen. Yes, it did make me jump at a few points. I'm not going to lie. But it was, it was enjoyable. I, I beat part one and part two. If you're looking for something different, and these games, they, man, they so cheap right now, man. I, I don't even know how much, but especially part one. But they are, oh, the last part on part one. So this last board, it was something like I've never played before. Never. God. But pick both of these up. If you're in a first-person shooter, you want a little scare or something, pick them both up. You know, they probably like 30 cents each. Um, all right. Uh, let's see here. Grab another stack. I know y'all thinking like, damn, how many games this guy got? Aliens versus Predator. Man, I'm telling you right now. I am a big, I mean, big fan of Predator and Aliens and Aliens vs. Predator, the whole thing. Big fan. And for all of you who do not know, which a lot of you probably didn't know, technically, technically, this is part three. Yes, one and two was on PC, made by the same company, Fox, Rebellion, all of them. So, when I heard about this announcement, First, it was only announced on PC, and I'm thinking to myself, like, God, please let them bring this to Compton. And they did. You know, multiplayer, I mean, not a lot of people play it online, because, you know, Call of Duty, Halo, and Battlefield, they pretty much run the online first-person shooter world. But I love how players the Predator, players the Alien, I mean, graphics are not bad either, and players the Marine. Each story is connected. I mean, all the stories are connected. Everything is authentic. They kept the same, like, um, feel and play of it. The engine was upgraded drastically. I, I enjoyed it. I, I'm going to keep this forever due to the fact that there are some titles I will keep forever because, you know, A, there might not be another one, or B, you, it's like that thought, where else am I going to uh, 
play this or else I'm gonna get a game like this you know it's just come on now if I get an itch for the uh, AVP kind of feel hey pop it in oh yes and there's a horde mode come on now all right and of course we have Halo anniversary I did an unboxing of this so you know I can easily get all the achievements in this also not bad you do see the difference I, man the, the upgraded visuals on here I'm telling you right now it is not that stuff where it's just some HD Xbox Live Arcade kind of update vi uh, visuals when you're playing this game in the game you hit the back button on the 360 controller it goes back to the first Xbox graphics God. and you can instantly see the difference I ain't talking about stuff just smoother or or uh or uh, boxy finger edges are more just more some no detail. I mean, you will see the wrinkles in the hand. You I mean the little individual grass blades? It, you will see. It. But it's a good, good game. All right, the Force Unleashed. And now it's got mixed reviews. Also, I enjoyed it. This part they hyped it up so much it wasn't as epic as uh, as they hyped it up to be. But hey. You know, it was still a good game. And one thing you all are noticing so far is that, okay, let's get on to part two. One thing you all are noticing so far is that you see all of my instruction manual or books or whatever you want to call them. I have to have the book, man. I, I, I don't know. I don't know about you. Matter of fact, do me a favor. For all of you who are watching this, click the thumbs up button if you have to have the manual with your game because it just gives it that better feel and look like just it's more just it's hard to explain but if, hell gamers the gamers y'all y'all know what i'm talking about anyway they force unleashed to lucas r they really did get rid of and uh polish out and smooth out a lot of the issues with the first one but like with a lot of titles you know when they get rid of some of the old problems they it brings up new issues you know I think, no, nah, I don't have all the achievements in this, but this was a good title. If you're a fan of Star Wars, Hack and Slash, I, uh, you know, I recommend that title. All right. <sighs> On to the next batch. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show this collector's edition. Final Fantasy 13 2. Yes, we've seen the collectors, so, I mean, my unboxing, so we're going to have to go through that. All right, this was a gift to me. Dynasty Warriors Gundam. I know what you're all thinking. Everyone says what they said about the Dynasty Warriors title. Oh, it's a button masher. Oh, it's a hack and slash. Oh, it's. But I'm going to tell you right now. Playing this, it starts out feeling repetitive. First, the hypeness was extra high because I'm a, I'm a big Gundam fan, as you've seen in my <laughs> Gundam Collection video. And when this first, but when this first came out, I did not think this was gonna work, at all, at all. However, this was the first PlayStation 3 title to sell over 100,000 copies, not just in America or Japan. No, period. Um, but if some are not impressed with those numbers, that just goes to show. You know, that just tells you something about the PlayStation 3 game library. Think about it, this was the first to sell 100,000 copies. So, anyway. This, as the game goes on, you learn new combos. It's not just X, 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 X. No, 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 no. If, if you look at the whole move roster, it's a X, X, Y, X, as someone say dash, then X, or pause. There were different, but all of them, all buttons did things. There wasn't just two attack buttons. No, there was not two attack buttons on here. There was a jump, dash, block, shoot, everything. There was the special, so... I know with the logo Dynasty Warriors up top, it automatically gives this a bad look. But trust me, got all the achievements on this, and all they just got better and better from one to two to three. You know, from two to three. But you know what I mean. All right. Again, uh, you know what? Yeah, looks like this is gonna go into part three. I'm gonna cut it short here. We're almost in the 15 minutes. So, thank you for watching this segment. Again, on to the next.